In this video, we're going to show you how to get the Stormbird Storm Cannon for legendary upgrades. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush Horizon Forbidden West. So you've probably killed a ton of uh, Stormbirds, but you're not getting the Storm Cannon and are pretty frustrated. And the problem is that you have to dislodge the Storm Cannon, which is underneath this yellow armor plate on the Stormbird uh, on its bottom, right under its head. And you have to dislodge the plate, and then you have to dislodge the cannon. So you see here that Aloy dislodged the plate and the cannon and picked up the legendary drop of the cannon. So that's going to be an orange icon when you scan it, but you have to dislodge it. Here's another Stormbird that spawns regardless of where you're in the story, and it dropped its cannon right here. It's kind of round, and Aloy's picked it up, and she's good to go with this fight. So there's two locations I'm going to show you here. This one with the flag by the waterfall up in the mountains. It doesn't have the Stormbird marked on the map, but this Stormbird always spawns regardless of where you are in the story. The other Stormbird you're probably not going to be able to get until you've started Pharaoh's Tomb and have access to the Isle of Spires. That is San Francisco. So the ideal bow that you're going to want is the Globe Blast Sharp Shot Bow. And you're going to want to put tear mods on it. The nice thing about the Glow Blast is you can buy it from the Hunter and Thorn Marsh and you upgrade it with Glow Blast or uh, with um, Green Shine. So there's so instead of hunting monsters you're just hunting Green Shine. So it's it's relatively easy to upgrade if you're you don't have a super strong character. It's a very good sharp shot bow uh, but the, why you want to use it is because it has the Tear Blast arrows, and the Tear Blast arrows have the most tear, so you can get over 600 tear on that. You want to have arrows that have no damage, but lots of tear, and the Tear Blast arrows are ideal. Unfortunately, there's no legendaries that have Tear Blast arrows. So it's even better than the Forge Fall for this particular purpose. And you also... Uh, if you have it in the tree, you want to use the focus shot. Uh, so when you, probably a lot of people don't know this, but when you go to the wheel, you can select between the uh, L2, R1 special shots, and focus shot is one of those if you've got it in the infiltrator tree. Uh, you might need it, you might not, uh, but it makes it helpful to focus on it and really focus on the can cannon location on the Stormbird so it'll slow time and give you just a little bit more uh, focus of the shot. But sometimes it that you won't have enough stamina to do it and it won't go high enough so you don't always have to do focus shots. And you know our purpose here is not really to kill the Stormbird. You probably killed a ton of Stormbirds and have a ton of Stormbird parts. It's just that cannon that you need but you can go ahead and kill the Stormbird too. The other thing is that it may make it easier if you go to settings and then turn the damage to alloy to story. So not necessarily turning down the damage to the monsters, but the damage to alloy because she's really focused on this one item and she needs to loot it. And she needs to watch where it drops and you might want to loot it in the middle of the fight and then just abandon the fight. So if you do not have access to the Sunwing or access to the Isle of Spires, this is the Stormbird for you. There's also a Dreadwing here. It helps to use a stealth armor set so you're not you don't aggro the Stormbird as you're jumping here. This is kind of it's a somewhat tricky jump uh, and climb. You climb that crack to the right of the waterfall here and we're using the tear blast arrows here and we're focusing on that yellow thing at the bottom of the body. We want to dislodge that but just dislodging it will not necessarily uh, take off the cannon. So you have to maybe hit it a few times after that that yellow um, armor is taken off before you can do that. So here we're just like at super close range and we've taken off that armor uh, but not necessarily taken off the, uh, the cannon itself. So we were going to do a few more shots where that armor used to be uh, until we can get the cannon off. 
And the cannon's kind of a round thing. It's not. It it will not be next to that armor plate. So the armor plate off. So it looks like we dropped it there. We got it there. So we had taken off the armor plate, and that there's the storm cannon. And now that we've got the storm cannon, we can just uh, get out of there because we don't want to fight both the stormbird and the dreadwing. And we're just gonna glide off the waterfall. And then we're, we can, once we land, we can fast travel wherever we want to and do our upgrades. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush Horizon Forbidden West.